Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday, August 14th, 2018. And there's the puppies. Pup, 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 pup. Caesar? Caesar? What's it doing, baby boy? <laughs> there they go. She's going like crazy. Uh, okay, so how's everybody doing today? Oh, there they are. And they're off. They're too funny. Good puppies, though. Anyway, uh, we had rain most of the day here. I mean, I don't think it stopped raining till about 3 o'clock this afternoon. I mean, it was just steady, steady all night through the night, and then most of the day it was really coming down. So it was kind of a miserable day uh, weather-wise, and then it kind of cleared up a little bit, and we actually pulled in um, as of right now, and let me tell you what time it is here. Hold on a second. It is 5.30 right now. We actually still have pulled in 2.9 kilowatt hours of power. Uh, yesterday, we actually had to use a generator because we just had such a... We only pulled in 1.3 kilowatt hours yesterday just because it was the weather was so bad. So, But these things happen, so that's how it goes. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a video today. So the list is 10 things you don't want to buy in stock, okay? So it's like if you're prepping and you're trying to get ready, here's 10 things that you definitely do not want to buy in bulk. All right, the first one, number one, is going to be spices. They won't go bad, but um, they will start to get stale on you, and, and it, that happens pretty quickly. But uh, they'll last for a long time, but they'll start to get stale. But now, I, I'm going to tell you what. <clears throat> Even with that, I still have quite a few spices that I have uh, all sealed up really really well and so they're not opened so I'm hoping that they you know I know that they last a long time I hope that they don't go stale because they've never been opened so that's kind of what I've done but uh, you know that's one of the things to keep in mind if you're gonna you know get spices and I think it's important to have spices but I guess you know you don't want to go crazy okay so the next one would be brown rice okay now we talked about um, in the other day after the other day's video white rice is awesome and the reason uh, brown rice will still last for quite a while, but because of the oils in it, it has a tendency to go rancid if it's stored for too long. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Now, I'm going to tell you what, I absolutely love brown rice. But like I said, for uh, looking for a seriously long-term storage thing, brown, brown rice is definitely not the one, okay? Number three would be coffee. Now, coffee beans um, won't go bad, but they will start to lose their flavor and their aroma. So that's something to keep in mind. And um, if you have already, if it's already ground coffee, that will go bad over time. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Um, and I do have some coffee put away, but, uh, you know, I don't go crazy storing coffee away. Uh, the number four would be flour, okay? Now here's the problem with flour. If it sits too long, um, it will attract moisture. And that's not a good thing. So, uh, you know, I have some flour packed away. And so I just, you know, we rotate our flour. When, like I said, I just bought a 25 bag pound of flour the other day. But like when the weather changes and we start really using the wood stove more, we'll do a lot more baking and stuff like that. So we'll use the uh, the flour more for, you know, making cookies and stuff like that at that point. Okay. So then we go number five would be baking powder. Okay. Unlike baking soda, it will also attract moisture. So it's it's. Uh, if it's not stored properly. So you can you can still stock up on baking powder, but you would want to make sure that it's really vacuum sealed really, really well so that it's not going to get any moisture in there, and it's going to last a lot longer that way. But if you just have it out, it's going to attract moisture, and that's going to ruin it, okay? The next thing would be yeast. Uh, its potency will decline um, pretty much not that far past the, uh, the sell-by date. So it's, it doesn't, it's not as potent, it doesn't um, hold as well once you have, you know, with, with yeast. So that's something to think about as well. Now, is it good to have yeast? Absolutely. But a lot of these things, guys, on this list, I would say they're nice to have, but make sure you're using them in a rotation. So whatever you have that's older, you're using up your older stuff first and maybe adding new to replace it, okay? Uh, the number seven would be cheese. 
and uh, cheese doesn't freeze well either. So cheese is definitely one that uh, for long-term storage that you really don't want to have because it's not going to be a great long-term food storage source for you. Okay. The num next one here, now this is definitely one, number eight, that I found out personally myself, condiments, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, those type of things, they do not hold well on a shelf um, for long periods of time. I had gotten mayonnaise and I thought, oh, I'm great, I'm good to go, I got this mayonnaise, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, well, I ended up throwing out a whole bunch of mayonnaise because it ended up going bad. So what I basically, as far as mayonnaise goes... I may be using a jar and may have, maybe have two as a backup, and so then that way I just rotate them out. That's all I do. I don't store a lot of mayonnaise anymore where I used to, and uh, I found that out firsthand. And like ketchup and mustard, I'll keep three or four as a backup, and then just as we use them, we replace them. So that's something to definitely think about. Number nine would be nuts, okay? Um, the natural oils in nuts will cause nuts to go rancid, so... You know, it's it, they're nice to have, but it's not for long-term storage. It's definitely not something that you're going to want to use. Okay, and number ten is going to be oils. Again, same reason oils are not going to—they're not going to hold well, and they're going to go bad on you. So there's your list of ten things definitely you do not want to stock up in bulk, as far as for a long-term storage. Okay. And I wanted to show you guys because we were driving out of the driveway, and I was like, oh yes, finally. I have some tomatoes turning. So there's one there, one down there, there's another one over here, this one here. And I'm sure if I go around here, I would find more. But uh, the tomatoes are starting to turn, which I'm very excited about, and I cannot wait to pick them and eat them. So there's one there, and there's the one there. So yeah, there is nothing in the world like homegrown tomatoes, absolutely nothing. Uh, we had just, the other day, had picked the seven pepper plants, when Heather went out um, to the neighbors and made the stuffed peppers, which we've already eaten all of them. Good job on the stuffed peppers, baby girl. And you had a good time with Chris, right? Yep. So, and she learned, and she wrote down the recipe, so she's got it all written down, and she's going to be good to go as far as that goes. Um, as you can see, I had um, a friend of mine come over the other day, and uh, him and his girlfriend and I had gone riding. That was on Sunday. And he was like, Oh my God, he goes, your garden is insane. And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, so the, you can see the garden is doing great. And uh, we've had a really, very productive crop this year, so I'm real pleased with that. And you can see, look at I mean, we got more blossoms. Everything's growing up, man. We're going to have a lot more um, cucumbers before all is said and done. There's another cucumber growing right there. You can see that, I'm hoping, right there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look at all the blossoms. So we're definitely going to be getting more cucumbers, which is fine. I have no issues with that. Oh, there's another squash that's almost ready right there, yellow squash. Uh, the squash has done great. We've done really, really well on the squash. It looks like there's a plant over there that's starting to die off, but that's going to happen. But, yeah, I, and actually, okay, now, I wanted to show you guys this, too, here in the garden. If you can see there... It's time to harvest the potatoes. So we're going to get in here. I think we're going to do it today. And we're going to get these potatoes dug up. Because the other part of it has died. So we, when the plant itself dies, then the potatoes are ready. So we're going to get out here and we're going to dig these potatoes up. So I'm curious to see how much we're going to end up with um, potatoes with that. So I think that'll be fun. That's going to be something that we're going to do. But you can see some of the leaves are starting to turn on these. And... Uh, but yeah, we've had a, a very good year as far as produce goes. It's done really, really, really well. So I'm very pleased. Um, the garden's done fantastic this year. And we expanded the garden this year. So we made it bigger. Uh, we will probably do the same thing again next year. We'll make it bigger again. Unless I put it in a greenhouse, you know. So we'll see what uh, ends up happening with that. But uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, with that, the garden, like I said, the garden has done absolutely fantastic this year. I've been real, real pleased. But uh, so, okay. Anything else you guys can think of that you would add on to a list of, of things that you would not want to have long term as far as storage with prepping? Uh, please make you know a comment on it and put it in the comments. Uh, but like I said, it's uh, there's some things that are good to have. And here's the other thing. Now, the other day um, in the video, somebody had said, "Well, what about pasta?" 
Now pasta is another one, guys, that will last indefinitely as long as it's not made with egg. Okay, so like you have your egg noodles, those ones are not going to have a long-term storage. But regular pasta, that will last forever as well. So that's something else that could be added onto a list that you could have. Um, I have a ton of pasta because, again, it's oh, something... That. What's that? A bunch of birds. Oh, did they? Yeah. And there had to have been like hundreds. Well, there's some still coming. Yeah. No, no, that's okay, honey. But anyway, guys, um, you know, so obviously pasta is another great one to have for long-term food storage. So please make sure you do that, but just make sure that it's the pasta that's not made with egg. And uh, as long as it's that, you're going to, th that'll store indefinitely. So those are good things to have as well. What do you got? What do you got? A piece of bark? Crazy puppies. These guys are doing absolutely awesome, guys. They listen so, so well. Um, they're really good dogs. So somebody's asking me what kind of dogs are they. And they are half collie, like as in Lassie. Uh, that was their mother. Their mother was a collie. And the father was a German Shepherd. So that's the combination um, that they are. And they are just growing like weeds. They're great, great dogs. They're just really gentle natured. Um, I think that they will end up being very protective, which is awesome. That's what we want. And uh, But nice addition to the homestead. I, I'm not going to complain about that at all. Mm -hmm. Now the kittens today, I'll talk about them real quick before I jump off of here. Um, it was raining like cats and dogs, basically. It was coming down like unbelievable. And uh, so when it finally kind of subsided a little bit, Heather and Eddie were out here, and the kittens were out. And they were all completely wet and drenched. So we ended up taking, Heather and I grabbed a couple of towels, and we're out here drying off kittens. <laughs> so, um, and I did pick up Mama Cat again today. She let me pick her up. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going, you know, like I said, the, ki the kittens are doing great. And uh, so, but anyhow, so that's it. So there's Heather. So Heather, say hello, hello to everybody. Again, for the again, fifth time. For the fifth time. Fifth. I, it might, I, maybe three. Maybe. Maybe. So, Miss Exaggeration. Okay. I think it's really going to have me say hello before you're going to go sign off. I should be saying goodbye. Okay, well then say goodbye. Goodbye. There you see now, there you go. Farewell. I bid you Fare adieu. thee well. Adieu. Auf Wiedersehen. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, um, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Life is so short and it's so precious. That, uh, that's really, really important to make sure you tell the people how you feel. And uh, remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you want to accomplish, you can do it. <laughs> the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. That's it. Um, so, you know, work methodically towards your goals, and you will get there. And uh, there's, that's her baby. That oh, is she's so vicious. Uh, oh, yeah, she's, she's a monster. That is definitely her baby. So, anyway, guys, listen, have a great day. I hope your weeks are going well so far, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.